Chapter 20, The Cities of Refuge The Lord said to Joshua, Now tell the Israelites to designate the cities of refuge as I instructed Moses. Anyone who kills another person accidentally and unintentionally can run to one of these cities. They will be places of refuge from relatives seeking revenge for the person who was killed. Upon reaching one of these cities, the one who caused the death will appear before the elders at the city gate and present his case. They must allow him to enter the city and give him a place to live among them. If the relatives of the victim come to avenge the killing, the leaders must not release the slayer to them, for he killed the other person unintentionally and without previous hostility. But the slayer must stay in that city and be tried by the local assembly, which will render a judgment. And he must continue to live in that city until the death of the high priest who was in office at the time of the accident. After that, he is free to return to his own home in the town from which he fled. The following cities were designated as cities of refuge. Kedesh of Galilee, in the hill country of Naphtali. Shechem, in the hill country of Ephraim and Kirith Arva, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. On the east side of the Jordan River, across from Jericho, the following cities were designated. Bezer, in the wilderness plain of the tribe of Reuben. Ramoth, in Gilead, in the territory of the tribe of Gad. And Golan, in Bashan, in the land of the tribe of Manasseh. These cities were set apart for all the Israelites, as well as the foreigners living among them. Anyone who accidentally killed another person could take refuge in one of these cities. In this way, they could escape being killed in revenge prior to standing trial before the local assembly.